this is the Escapist 2 Pocket Breakout, which is going to be on mobile devices. This takes the game you possibly know of. It's a Team 17 title. It's quite popular. Uh, I've played it on Xbox. And a number of variations, they do like DLC and spin-offs all the time of it. It's kind of a, a really big game for them. So you're essentially breaking out of jail. And they've taken that experience that you know, and they've basically shrunken it down into a mobile format, which makes sense because of the visuals. Um, what's really cool about this game is it's got ba basically a bit of like a timeless sort of art style to it that scales really well across all the devices, similar to, I suppose, Minecraft. Anyway, so there are a number of different ways to play, and these come in the form of basically how you control the game. So you can do direct touch controls, touch controls, or you can do like a virtual joystick. Basically when you load up the game for the first time, you get a series of choices. Do you want to tap where your character goes? Do you want to guide them with a physical joystick? Or do you want more of like a hybrid kind of style? And the choice is yours, which is kind of nice, I think. Uh, some volume options are present, a profanity filter if you'd like. I guess maybe I should just leave that on. Uh, they're very easygoing system of how to play the game in case you've never played it before and it generally just gives you all the functionality you need to enjoy the game in a number of ways. So you're breaking out of jail. Uh, you get to create your own characters if you'd like. We've got Clive here. Uh, let's customize him. Let's make him Sky. And you can change all kinds of features on them. And there's lots of different depth too. You can change the hairstyles, change how they look. You can give them like hats, like a bear hat. There are just a ton of different options for customizing your individual to make them look however you'd like them to, which is really cool. Sorry if there's any chops in the video. I keep getting messaged by people I normally don't get messaged by, and the notifications are popping up. <laughs> Yay! So you can customize uh, a bunch of different characters that kind of fill up your jail environment. On top of that, there's leaderboards, and this is very much a multiplayer integrated game. So we're going to go to uh, play game just to kind of show it off. So we've got a number of different areas here. We've got the precinct. It's kind of like a tutorial prison. It's a good way to show off how things get started. Uh, we've got center perks, 2.0, rattlesnake springs, kapow camp, and area 17. And I fully expect them to add more over time. Whether that's paid or free, I don't know. Depends on what they're doing in this particular situation. So you may have noticed with this one, there's also a multiplayer option. So you can host or join kind of a multiplayer situation, which is really cool. And you can customize your guards and everything before we get going. Oh. And then the join option where you're kind of searching for a LAN game. Just so you get an idea, the multiplayer is a present experience of this. There's also Play Versus, where you can join in and battle somebody if you'd like to see who can escape first. Obviously, you can read those details. And I just thought this was worth showcasing because, you know, some people might like to play multiplayer. And it's kind of cool that the option is there. So we're going to do a new game in Precinct 17. So it all loads pretty fast. We're on the iPhone XS. So the visuals are, you know pretty intense for mobile, at least like they should be because it's the premium iPhone. And uh, yeah, it's kind of just like an intro sequence and you can skip the cutscenes. And then you're in jail. So in jail, there are a lot of things you can do, but the tutorial is a really good way to showcase what the game is, especially in this situation because it goes over all of the key features. So you're going to be searching things, you're going to be collecting items, you're going to be crafting. So you can also go into a crafting menu and then you can see different tiers of things you can craft and items you can create. So we're just going to build this for now. And we're going to back out of that. And then you jump into a roll call. So you can actually live a regular day at jail. As weird as that sounds, and that's kind of what I do because I don't really care about escaping too much. I just kind of have a little bit of fun with these and play them to review them and stuff. But yeah, you can like workout, uh, you can go on the computer, you can make yourself stronger, and there's just like a ton of little mini games that you get to engage in. And the jails are sort of vast, and they have uh, like a schedule for you, like a regular jail. You know, you've got your roll calls, you've got your 
eating times, your sleeping times, shower time. And, uh, yeah. So now we're in a bit of a free time situation. We can do what we want. We can go into other people's cells. People don't like it, though. And we can, like, steal stuff and take things and piss off guards. And we can fight guards. Uh, we can work jobs if we'd like. And it's just kind of a, a seamless experience, kind of getting a, a good idea of the scale of this place. And the controls, I mean, they, they seem all right with the joystick. I picked it just because it's a bit of a like a physical offering on the screen, and that's just something I enjoy. So you can actually fight people too if you'd like. Well, that's obviously a big part of uh, getting out of, you know, jail is searching and stealing and taking things, right? And it's just kind of like guiding you through the sequence so that you can get an idea of how to play the game, which is really good and important so that you can get the concept of it if you haven't actually played this. Because most of the time I fool around and I don't do well. Just because, again, I, I like to have fun with it. It's a fun game. <laughs> this is a kind of a silly one too. So we're coming in here and we're going to be taking the bed sheet and we're going to cover things up. So there's a lot of... Uh, basically little hidden things in this one if that makes sense there's a lot of what's this guy doing in here he's just kind of chilling in here hey pip i don't think you're supposed to be in here but there's like a lot of hidden functionality into this game and it's just rather impressive and you can kind of see uh, their profile you can do gifts and work jobs for people too and that's the neat thing is like it's got a really sort of uh, easy going aesthetics to it. We're gonna put that away. Uh, in the sense that, you know, like the visuals I think are pretty cool. There's a lot of motion to it. You see the hair flipping around. But the game itself is kind of basic, right? I mean, it's nothing too complex from the looks of it. But once you get in there and you're actually doing stuff, you're interacting with the game, you see there's a lot of functionality to it. Now, I, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna tell you which version to play it on because frankly it's all right across everything i enjoy it on the consoles but uh obviously with the uh the mobile version i think they've actually quite captured that full experience and brought it onto a, a mobile device so this could be a very good way to enjoy the game if you'd like to play it here and it's just i think it's quite fun to play and it's worth a try even if you don't particularly get it on mobile you know it has a lot of good sort of options and ways to play. So you just break down a wall. Yeah, now I got scissors, and I believe I use this to cut stuff, right? Oh yeah, okay, never mind, I gotta... Get out of the way. Jeez. These other prisoners. This is gonna be a little awkward to place. There we go. And I just, I hope you're getting a good uh, sense of the functionality involved with this. Okay, I think I gotta use this. And that'll give me the, the boost I need to cut this up. And this, cut there's, yeah. And just kind of the layers involved, because you can like dig and you can sneak and you can there's so many ways to get out of jail and the game offers you just like a ton of options for how to uh, kind of enjoy it but you have to balance your energy and your strength and your stamina and your fitness you do have to work jobs and kind of learn things oh no we're in lockdown that's not good so we need the shovel dig 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 and we're desperately trying to get out of here And then we're able to actually kind of get ourselves out of here, which is kind of neat. You're seeing the, the whole underground layer to this, the extra dimension. And hopefully I don't mess up. That would be embarrassing. Yeah, okay. And I think... I dug into the second space, sorry I haven't done the tutorial in a while calculations were correct okay never mind I gotta keep going why can't I use 
I think I'm actually repairing it here. There we go. No, never mind. I'm good. And then I've got the cutters. And then I'm just going to cut this to go. Keep in mind, I have no sound, so I don't know if there's audio playing. But usually the music's pretty charming in this one, and it does capture the, uh, the essence of the game quite well. And then I've escaped, and that kind of shows off the game, I think. You know, the mechanics of it and the idea of it. Obviously, you can kind of skip things. You can see my kind of detail, how well I did. Metals, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. So we're going to show a bit of what it's like to experience uh, another jail cell. I'm just going to create a save here. And we'll just... This seems like a fine bunch of people. And you can customize all of the characters and stuff in your jail to have a really refined personal experience when you're playing, which is a nice sort of thing. Uh, Frankie just... There I am. I'm going to be me. With that flowing hair. Yeah. Whatever. Useless notifications always popping up. Cool, here we go. So now I'm kind of just in a free thing, right? Like, I can do what I want. I have all these tools available to me. And I've got a routine I can engage in. Yeah, I climb, I can sit down, I can just kind of enjoy stuff. And now we're going for a roll call. So you're going to see that this is a larger environment. There's more going on here. And uh, you can see these kind of guys. They got like, you know, little coin things. And they're basically like a shopkeep. So, oh, like a regular jail, there's like an economy. And you can work uh, the jobs and tasks for people. And you're able to get money and resources. A manicure. Manicure. <laughs> That's funny. And you can see, like, there's just little tasks that I can do. Energy drink. And I don't know, that's kind of a weird one. But you can have, like, lots of different goals and quests that you can do while you're trying to escape the jail. Yeah, okay. And then you see that come up, deliver a can of soda to Ash. And then we gotta find Ash in order to deliver this can to you. And it's kind of just like a quest. So we're all grabbing uh, food. And I gotta look for Ash. Hello, Ash. Be somewhere here. Oh, look, there was a bit of a fight that broke out. Like, I could fight people, and then I could go to, like, the intensive ward. Uh, there's also a full map that you can kind of see where everybody is. You can get the names and have a better idea of what's going on. You can zoom in and out. Very detailed. You can see all the different floors. Very easy going. And you can see everyone involved. And what they're kind of like details on who's doing what. We get some snack going, but I guess that doesn't really matter considering I have full health, so whatever. This is free time. We're going to take a look around just so you get an idea of the scale of basically the jails. So multiple levels, it's all seamless, so you can move between it, see what's happening. Uh, you can go to the gym. And you can see that I'm, I'm working out. You know, got to lift those weights, right? And you're seeing how that is consuming energy. And that makes my character a little bit better. And a little bit stronger. And I can do that the same with the technology. But things kind of decline too, right? So you actually have to get a good balance going in terms of, you know, basically being smart and conserving your energy, using it at the right times, fighting the right people, and kind of breaking out on your own terms, if that makes sense. You really can do whatever you'd like to. You get free reign, but you can also fight people. Hey, hey what's, that? what's happening here? And exercise time so you can work your magic. I don't know, or I could fight you right here. 
and this will just give you a good sense of the combat and what can happen in a situation where you actually go and try to fight people. And then you like pick up bodies and stuff. Search their body for things. Get that energy back up. Hello there. And normally you get attacked, so... Yeah, it's kind of nice that nothing happened. Hmm. I guess because they didn't catch me, it's, it's all good. Usually I get caught. And, yeah, and then when she get knocked out, which I was kind of hoping would happen, so we'll just follow this. You end up in, like, the infirmary, and then you're, like, getting helped. Uh, you might get, like, put into, like, a different place or something. Yeah, different kinds of confinement. And it's just about trickier jails and trickier situations as you progress and uh, as you get challenged to do more things across the game and I think it's it's generally a pretty fun thing to do just to chill around but you can also be rather intense about it right in terms of trying to escape uh, figuring out the best way to do so how not to get caught while you're doing it uh, dealing with other kind of criminals and stuff that are doing their thing Sorry, sir. Just needed this file. And then you can just take stuff and, uh... You know, do stuff with it. I guess I can, like, kinda shank some people with it. Hello there. See, they don't like that, right? Oh, crap, I thought I actually downed him. And now I'm hurt, and I'm gonna get sent there. So that's the Escapist's uh, Breakout it, well, Pocket, whatever edition. I think they've really taken the formula of the full game and shrunken it down to mobile and made it work quite well. Uh, I mean, obviously, get us to <laughs> Obviously, you know, there's some limitations and some changes, but generally it is that core sort of experience that you uh, would be familiar with if you played the game or if you're checking out for the first time It's got a cool little escape from jail vibe and there's lots of guides online if you're having problems And it's just about learning ways to escape uh, Dealing with security dealing with challenges and being creative in this Sort of evolving game that always tries to fight back if you're trying to uh, make it out alive or you know Not serving your full crime, which is what you're supposed to do because we're escapists <laughs>